Dan Ironside loves his job as a volunteer firefighter. It's a job he's wanted to do since he was a kid. Save people, go and burning houses, <laughs> put the fire out. My uh, dad was a firefighter when he was younger, so I always kind of wanted to do what he did. Dan's department is busy, always on standby in case of an emergency in three local townships. We average around here between fires and accidents and carbon monoxide and stuff around 200 per call per year. Over the past 22 years, he's had to adjust his turnout gear, gradually increasing the size of his uniforms. Just life, being married, everyday work, and just started coming on and before you realized it, you were huge. <laughs> With that extra weight came health complications. I was taking a lot of medications, like 14 pills in the morning. So my health risk was just bad. And my doctor would call me a uh, walking time bomb. That time bomb came in the potential for heart attack, as well as his escalating blood glucose. I was diabetic and he gave me a choice of uh, getting insulin or going to a seminar about the surgery. So I don't like shots, so I took the surgery. <laughs> that meeting likely saved Dan's life. He had surgery a year ago, a sleeve gastrectomy that trimmed the size of his stomach, making him feel full on smaller amounts of food. He credits his success to the team at Covenant Bariatric and Metabolic Center. The nurses were awesome, the doctor, I loved him. Everybody was so nice about it, and they took care of you, you know? I mean, they weren't, easy with you, but they took care of you. They knew what you had to do and you just had to do it. In the hospital they were calling me speedy because I was walking the halls and I just wouldn't sit down. I just kept going and because my goal was to lose the weight and be healthier. So, you know, I had that in my mind and I just stuck to it. Only a few months later, Dan was looking for new protective gear. His pants size dropped from a 40 to a 30, five sizes smaller. I kept Put them on, these are thick, too big, too big. Hey, let me try the little guys, perfect. Friends, family, and his firehouse team are astounded at Dan's progress. They can't believe the difference, it's like a whole different person. Dan is quick to point out that the surgery is only the beginning. Life changes are what brings weight loss, and he must work out to maintain it. His life is not the same as before. It's big difference. <laughs> I mean, you have to actually give up a lot of things. You know, which is worth it, you know, because if you start eating something and you just think about it, is this worth going back to the way you were? It's rough going out to eat when you're done in two minutes and everybody else is still eating, but you just learn to enjoy it. But, you know, I can have leftovers for three days. <laughs> Smaller meals and frequent exercise are all part of his new lifestyle. Me and the wife work out quite a bit and uh, just try to keep going. Cardio, you know, steps, everything, you name it. The reward comes in his ability to move around in such heavy protective gear. The first fire I went to after the surgery, I could not believe how much energy, I just kept wanting going back in. I mean, he just had so much energy. Today, off of all of his medications, his doctor says he's no longer a time bomb. Now he says I defused it, so. If you'd like to learn more about Dan's success and how Covenant's Bariatric and Metabolic Center can help you, go to covenantbariatrics.com.